Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a DIY room decor video for 2018. I cannot believe 2017 is almost over. I might be saying that like every single year, but honestly this time I really mean it. I feel like this year went by way too fast. I always get so many requests to do a room decor video, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be so, so awesome. I also have a second channel in case you guys didn't know already. I just posted my first squishy package and I'm also going to be doing a what I got for my birthday video on my second channel so if you want to watch more videos you can check it out it's always linked down below and lastly i just want to wish you all a very happy new year and without any further ado let's jump right into today's video for the first diy i'm going to be making a cat pencil holder or i should probably say oscar if you've been watching my videos for a really long time you may have already recognized him so the first thing i'm gonna do is take some air dry clay and roll it out I have this plastic cup here which I'm going to cover using the clay. Now the clay that I'm using is very thick, it's kind of hard to blend. But the thing I love about this clay is that it doesn't really crack as much. Um, so I will leave a link down below for this clay, I cannot remember the name. But it is kind of hard to work with because it's so thick. So as you can see, I'm kind of struggling to like blend it. So it took me a really long time to get the shape that I want. And I know this portion of the video isn't really making sense because I was having a hard time filming and trying to like get the shape all nice. But the good side of this clay is that it does not crack at all, so thumbs up for that. And as you can see now at the bottom, I am just cutting off the extra clay. Now that I'm finally happy with the shape, I'm going to let this air dry for about 24 hours. Because we're making a cat, we cannot forget the ears. Now I am making the ears separately because as I mentioned, this clay was really hard to blend, so I just made two triangle little shapes here and I'm gonna let those air dry. Once the clay is completely dry, I'm going in with some E6000 glue and I'm going to glue the ears in place. Since we are making Oscar, I'm going in with this light orange peachy kind of color and I'm going to paint the entire container. I am using acrylic paint by the way. And then I'm gonna go in with some black, draw on his eyes, his mouth, and of course the whiskers. By the way, if you want to make sure that the paint doesn't like come off, it doesn't like chip or anything, you should use a layer of Mod Podge on top. For some reason when I was filming, I completely forgot, but once you're done with all of the painting, go in with a layer of Mod Podge, it's also going to add like a nice shine to the container. With some light pink, I'm making the details inside the ears. And then finally, using an orange color, I'm making this little like pattern on top. I really don't know what you would call this, but I think it looks really cute. And here is the completed Oscar pencil holder. For the next DIY, I'm going to be making a super adorable unicorn calendar. So I have this canvas which is 15 by 18 centimeters. Using a piece of tape, I'm going to divide the canvas in half. Then I'm going to paint the bottom half using some pink acrylic paint. Once you're done painting, carefully remove the tape off immediately. I know that the canvas is already white, but I'm still going in with some paint because the canvas was kind of a harsh white, which I didn't like. So that's why I did a thin layer on top of it. So on the top half, we're going to be making our unicorn. So I'm going in with some black acrylic paint and I'm making the eyes and then I'm gonna make the mouth. And I completely forgot, but you also have to make two triangles at the top for the ears. 
for the horn, I took some glitter cardstock and I cut a horn shape and then I just popped it on. The bottom half of the canvas is going to be our calendar. So I have two nails which I'm going to hammer in place like so. So you kind of now have a calendar stand. So we basically now only need our numbers. So I have some cardstock here that I've cut and I'm going to punch a hole at the top. You're going to have to do this 13 more times. So in total you need 14 of these little rectangles. 4 for the first digit and 10 for the second digit. Using a marker I'm just writing down the numbers. For the first 4 digits, you're going to need numbers from 0 to 3 and then for the second digit which we cut 10 rectangle pieces for, you're going to need numbers from 0 to 9. And of course, we cannot forget the months. So I ended up making these removable tags. I wrote January on a piece of paper, put some double sided tape on and essentially you can stick it on for each month, peel it off. It does come off very easily. And here is your completed unicorn calendar. For the final DIY, I'm going to be making a marshmallow money bank. For this DIY, you're going to need any kind of container that you may already have at home. The first thing that I did was wash the container with some warm water and soap. And then I removed the label. Now I have some Model Magic air dry clay and I'm going to start rolling it out. The best thing about Model Magic is that it's very lightweight and it also has this squishy kind of texture to it, which is perfect for this DIY. So as you can see, I am covering the container with the Model Magic and I'm blending it in, making sure that it actually looks like a marshmallow. So I'm kind of shaping it accordingly. Then you want to let this air dry for about 24 hours. For the lid, I have some craft foam here and there's kind of like a little triangle piece that's missing. I was kind of running low on craft foam. But anyway, now I'm going to make the little slot where you can put money inside. Next, you want to glue that on top and now you essentially have your money bank. You can pretty much decorate this however you like. I ended up making a very adorable laughing face. I think it turned out really cute. So I'm just drawing that on using some acrylic paint. For the blush, I used some chalk pastel, but you can also use an actual blush. And here is the completed marshmallow money bank. I think it turned out so cute. So as you can see, I am putting money inside. Please let me know in the comments down below which DIY was your favorite. I think my favorite is probably the unicorn calendar. I think it's very different and very unique. And I also think it's going to look very cute in my room. Speaking of which, I am going to be doing my room tour in 2018. So so stay tuned for that. I also uploaded two new videos on my second channel, a color changing squishy and slime video. And then I also uploaded my very first squishy package. So you can watch those videos. I will have a link down below. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video.